Git work trees? Haven't heard about that? No worries, you're not alone. I actually just found out a couple months ago and that's someone that has a course out there that's called Productive Git for Developers. So basically when I started incorporating AI agents much more in my daily development workflow, I kind of figured it, it's almost necessary to have a copy of your repo you're working on. Because like the AI agent can then work on that copy, do whatever you instructed to do while you can keep going what you were working on. And so you can just jump back and forth very easily. It works on a copy of the repo in its own branch. And once it's ready, just submit it. And I actually did that even before working with AI agents, like creating manual copies, copying everything over, such that you can kind of parallelize with it. And this is not just for AI stuff, right? Like even here, I'm in my repo. This is the Git repo for NX. And I might just work on some stuff. And then I see my CI failed for that other PR. And I just would need to fix it quickly and push it up again. Now, if you use self-heating CI from NX Cloud, you wouldn't actually have to do anything. Probably you would get a notification in your editor, would show you the issue, would propose you a fix, you just verify it, you accept it, and it would push it to your PR and it would rerun CI. So you can just keep going. See what I did there? But if you don't have that, and you definitely should, you have to switch somehow, right? Now you could obviously go and just like git stash all the changes, move them around, or just temporarily commit them to the branch, then switch over to that PR branch and just go and, and update it and push it to a CI again. But it's kind of like tedious, right? And so it turns out Git has a feature for that. So you don't have to manually copy the repo, which is Git work trees. So how does it work? Well, let's imagine I have a branch here. So let me just create an artificial branch called feature A here. And this is where I'm currently developing or where I'm going to develop my feature, right? So instead of now just working this repo specifically, I just branch it out to a copy of this repo. So I can just like write git work tree, add, then I give it the path where that work tree should be placed, which is usually in that directory where I currently have the main repo. And it's also probably useful to have some sort of prefix. I tend to prefix it with like the repo name, like the folder name, so NX, and then feature A, and then you have to give it the branch for which you want to actually branch off and create this work tree. So just go with feed A. And so now you can see Git preps this work tree, it updates all the files there, and then that's it. Now what has happened here is if I go up here and do feed A, you can see I have a folder in the directory. And so what I can do is you can just do and open it up with my IDE, whether it's cursor, text editor, whatever you're using. And so here now you can see I have basically a clone of the repo. I have to run pmpm install in this case, but you can see it initializes it. And I have a brand new repo with that feature where I can just keep working as I would normally do in the main repo. And so this is really neat. If I go back to my main repo and I do git work tree list, I see all the different work trees that I already have in this repo that are kind of connected. So you can see this is a native feature for git where it keeps track of these. In fact, I can actually go and merge that back in as if it was a normal branch in the main repo. So I have this feature A, so I could just go and do git merge feature A and it would merge that back into my main repo. Now, normally you wouldn't even probably merge it locally into the main branch, but rather what would happen is like, I would go in this repo here, in this work tree, and here is where I would have Claude or Cursor or whatever LLM assistant you're using, and I would instruct it to work on this specific one. And once this is ready, I just commit on this branch, I submit up a PR just as normal, it gets merged into main once it is validated, and I can get rid of that work tree again. So basically what would happen, I could just go back here. Once this has been merged, I could do git work tree remove NX feed A, and that would remove the work tree and clean it up. And so in this way, it would be removed from the list of overall work trees that I have. And so this is a really neat way to manage these copies if you want locally on your file system, and it's very easy to parallelize stuff. Whether that's a good thing or not, I'll leave that to you. Now, Git work trees is nice, but it's still kind of a lot of ceremony around having to create a branch, having to basically then add the folder path, etc. So I was actually going to create my own CLI around it. I already have a CLI that allows me to quickly jump back and forth between the branches that I'm currently working on. And so I was going to extend that when I found that John Lindquist, which is one of the co-founders of Egghead and was really into automating and scripting like everything on his machine, 
obviously has already a CLI tool for that. So I went and looked at it. You can install it here uh, over NPM. So you can just like do something like this here, but you would want to do it globally. So you would want to do something like dash G at John Lindquist work tree at latest, and then install that as a global binary that you can invoke. Now I already have that. And so what that gives you is that WT shortcut and if I do work to list, you will see I will get the same list here that I had before, but I can also just do this and you will see a bunch of different options that you have. And so you can create a new work tree, list them, remove them, merge them, purge all open ones that you're sure you shouldn't have anymore, you shouldn't use anymore, open an existing one just to quickly jump there, etc. Or even extract an existing branch name into a new work tree. So let's give it a try. So I removed the feature A branch. So if I want to start a new work tree, I can just do work tree new and whatever feature name I want to give it. So in this case, feature A. And so if I click that, you can see it creates a new work tree for me and it can even open it up automatically in an editor, which I've configured. So this is already really neat that in one line, I can immediately do everything. Now, there is already some standardization going on behind the scenes because as you can see here, it created this work tree with some sort of like naming convention. So basically there's always a repo dash and then the branch name that is being used as the folder name. Now you can customize all of this, but I'm not gonna go too deep into it. I just rather wanna show you off how this works. And so this gives me exactly the same feature. I have now my new work tree. I can also go ahead and install automatically PMPM or node modules for you. You have a series of different customization capabilities here. Now, one workflow that this Worktree CLI also has, which I've been using all the time with the GitHub CLI, is to be able to directly check out a PR. So let's say I have this PR, I want to review it locally and test it out. What I usually do is like GitHub PR checkout, and then I give it that specific PR number. Now, Worktree has a similar feature, but to check it out directly in its own Worktree. And so you can go here and you will see here there is a PR feature. And so you can say, work tree PR and you give it a number of the PR and it will now check this out and it automatically jump over to that local branch. And so what this allows me is again, without disrupting my current flow, I can keep everything as I have. I can directly go here, check it out, edit it, push some comments on top of it, or even just test it locally and I'm good to go. All right, that's it. Try out John CLI it is a really neat way to use these work trees locally. Another huge productivity gain and time saver is NS Cloud Self Healing CI. Try it out, it is free for the hobby plan, just add it to your CI script and you never have to again check out PRs just because you made some silly mistake. It will be fixed automatically by AI, push direct to your brand once you approve it and you can just keep going, whatever you were doing. If you want to learn more, there's a link in the video description and I hope I see you in the next one. Take care, peace.